Find functional hilarity at the Biffa Emporium. So we open with a corpse video shoot, but I don't know why he wanted Joy to come by. She already said she don't want you, but I guess she knows how to do the dead's hair better than the living. Okay, so Chaotic is having flashbacks of being shot at. He gonna go get a little therapy. Good, cause I'm getting bored, so get on. Oh God, it's a Mona Scott Young mental health mumble. Ugh. We don't tune in for this shit, we want the mess. Okay, so Trina's getting ready to launch her label full of artists that no one has heard of or wants to hear from. Jesse Wu finds out that her ex-manager Julian is out here trying to stop her bag. Trina invites Bobby to her sorry little event so she can rub her nose in what he ain't get. I think it's best he signed to another label because this way you keep family family and business business. Also, it is not 98 2000 or 2002. Trina may have a little bit of name recognition, but she doesn't have relevance. I wouldn't call Trina a legend. I'd call her a has-been. Oh, now we've got Monique Hart in introspection. Lord, we're supposedly at Michelle Pooch's apartment and honey, it's giving me an Airbnb tea. <laughs> I, I just can't. This Sandra Rose medical minute ass episode. From PTSD to fibroids, this is, this is what we gotta look at. This is not why we tune in. Shay, you want kids one day? Girl, you gotta be what, 45, 50? Like, like if you was gonna have one, like you, time is tuck. I feel bad for Shay. I really feel bad she ain't got a plot line. I mean, I feel sorry for the fibroids, but you know, you gonna get surgery, you gonna heal, you gonna be fine, you gonna be fine. It's the plot line that's really evading your life. You ain't got no man, you ain't got no children. That's the sad part. And that ain't even a read, that's a fact. Okay, the first artist, Susie Soprano, she sounds terrible. Ah, uh, that Amber girl was kinda okay, but she was giving me that auto-tune sound of today tees. None of them have impressed me. Child, you could have had Bobby up there popping that puss. Oh, so Trina gonna go on and give Bobby his feature. I wouldn't let her stank up my track, but that's just me. Okay, so them producers that gave Jesse the runaround are gonna waste their time with her now because she doesn't have vocal ability. They ain't even trying to hug that heifer. They're like, yeah, 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 we shooting this scene. Oh, and in walks Julian. I hope we get a baptism. So they have a boring little back and forth, but they agree to stop bothering each other. Oh, Bobby sees Amara, and here comes the shit. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Amara's face when Trick said, I brought her as my date. Look, I'm gonna give you a little camera time because I need a scene, but you ain't getting that nair puss. <laughs> oh, God. Trick, you know you trying to trick her ass into a date. The lack of self-awareness is just mind-boggling. So Trick is embarrassed and he takes his ass on. He's like, well, you know what? I'm gonna go find some puss elsewhere. Shit. Now Trina complaining to Omar about the manager that they share. But if you got issues with the management, you need to take it up with the management. Omar ain't got shit to do with that. She knew money and you just mad. Cause you ain't money. Not old money. Ain't money. So Trina tries to get Amara to patch things up with Jesse Wu, and she like, mm-mm, I'm gonna leave because I ain't gonna act a And I know since her music isn't popping, she's prone to an outburst. All right, we've got the corpse in therapy. That's a fast forward. Oh, goodness, you even got the Burger King food, the Burger King drinks. If I didn't know any better, I'd think this was a Trump function. It's a shame that we just don't have music class in school anymore and now Burger King gotta promote the shit. Burger King like, well hell, we gonna need music samples for our commercials so we gotta get the talent right. Okay, I really don't feel like looking at my, my I really don't feel like looking at any of these people with a bunch of chillin'. Okay, we gonna fast forward through this little after school special and I guess this is when Bobby and Trent's get it back on track. Ooh, this is a sorry episode. I'm going to need a bumper, a bumper. Oh God, this is just going on and on and on. I can't with these Burger King bags, foods, and drinks though. 
okay, now we got a vigil and we bringing the community together. All right, good, but fast forward. Oh my God, who wears this Tom of Finland ass hat to a vigil? That's a sex party hat. That ain't a vigil hat. Maybe Halloween, but no vigil, no vigil unless it was for somebody in the leather community and then they probably would have wanted it that way. Are we gonna end it with the sad shit? Yeah, we ended it with the sad shit, so I'm gonna end it here. See you next week. Let me find a bumper. So since I don't think that episode gave enough, we gonna go on and do a little growing up hip hop bumper. I don't know if it's the season finale or, or not, but I hope it is, cause I'm sick of them. Rome, I don't think you had anybody's concussion. I don't even think you bumped your head. And where is this mythical movie? Oh, Jesus, Angela, I gotta fast forward. Yes, you got a gym, great. I'm sick of you and your boring mama. Oh, they talk about what's going on with, with them. I, I'm sick of it. The shit gonna be up in the air till the next season. I'm not saying shit else about Rome and Angela. Either fuck or move the fuck on. But stop boring me with the bullshit. Fucking had it. Okay, Dame Dad. Oh, Lord. Boogie and Dame. I can't. I can't. I can do Boogie by himself. Can't do him with the sorry ass daddy. Boogie, if you're watching, your father's a piece of shit. Stop talking to him. I can't stand him. All he do is irk my nerve. Yeah, we going, this is going to be a fast forward ass episode. Okay, Rome in the studio pretending to record music that ain't nobody going to listen to no way. And then we've got the dog-faced boy here too. Okay, he inviting people to his engagement party. I feel sorry for that poor young lady. But fast forward, don't nobody give a shit. And they gonna keep talking about this and shit. Let's just get to Brianna. That's all we really care about. Sorry ass show. So we got Easy es son and Egypt's indigent. Oh, they in the studio wasting time too. Just getting in front of mics, putting the sound equipment through hell for no reason. Oh Lord, they performing together. The indigent Egypt are performing together, trying to give us a little poverty and herb, a little sorry and reefus, a little Ashford and sleeping rough Simpson. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. God, ugh. All Easy es son is doing is riding his father's coattails. I don't even got a name for him. He talking about boys in the hood and shit. You were a baby. A baby. You need to get your own life and live that. But you don't seem to be doing a very good job of it. Oh, and now we're going over last episode's baptism. Baptism. Oh, so Pep got a Vegas residency. That's right. And she'd left that sissy she was with, so things are looking up. So TT sick of Brianna's shit, and I can't even blame him. The indigent is like, look, I'm not here for Brianna's bullshit either. I got to worry about Egypt and Pep. I've got three hots and a cotton, I like it. I'm not about to let her high ass pull me out of character and fuck it up. Oh, this is Boog's event. Shame he couldn't get any talent for it. Egypt's performing and probably Easy es son. What does Easy es son perform? His daddy's music, is he some type of impersonate? Mm. Okay, so everybody arrives to the shit case. Okay, the dog-faced boy talk talking to Vanessa Yawn Simmons, and I don't give a shit. Let's just get to the tired little performance. The dog-faced boy whining about Brianna. Everybody kind of whining about Brianna. I I'm fuckless. Especially with Easy es child. He needs to shut up. So we finally got Brianna, and she's regrouping by herself. So she ain't gonna go to bug shit, because she like, I ain't even in the mood. I will say, two people will start with that heifer knowing she ain't the one for a little camera time. I can't tell if this is a fart or a shit, so I'm gonna go on to the bathroom. All right, Egypt and her indigent sound cute on the track. I actually like the music. Oh, the indigent rapping a little bit. Mm -hmm. I I'm getting it. I'm getting it. She has stepped her game up. You're right, Master P. And she sounded like she was live. Girl, now we got Easy es child trying to relive his pappy's life. Girl, I gots to fast forward. Because if your daddy was alive and, do, and was able to be him, who would you be? Child Dame and Bug, fast the fuck. Okay, now we got the dog-faced boys engagement party. And I just, 
Uh, I am really not in the fucking mood for Angela Yawn in Rome. I'm not. I pray this is the season finale. I really do. The dog face boy gets engaged. Okay, next Thursday is the season finale, and it's more Romeo and Angela. I'm gonna see you soon for something. We gotta talk about the you, 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 you. We gotta talk about the unit, about the unit. We gotta address what the hell's on your head. Say it again. We got to address what the hell is on your head. One more time. What the fuck is that? Is it a welcome mat? Is that a dead cat? We gotta talk about the unit. Yeah. It looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. It looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. It looks like a pump, show bump. It looks like a pump, show bump. It looks like a pump, but it feels like a sneaker. It's just, it's been in my head for years. I, I figured I'd do something with it today. I, I had a few moments. From the streets of New York all the way out to Vegas It doesn't matter if you're rich or if you're famous Because you can't get someone pregnant in the anus No, you can't get someone pregnant in the anus yeah, yeah. Backpedal and pussy pop Back pedal and pussy pop. I want you to be, 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 beat my ass. Be my ass. I want you to be my ass. I want you to put fist to the face. Fist to the face. I want you to whoop. I want you to kick. I want you to be my ass. I want you to be. Mass. I want you to be 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 I want you to be 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 that was me. So as my mug say, tell a kin, tell a friend, tell that heifer you hate to head over to the Biffa Emporium for a cute collection of hoodies and mugs. Link below.